in Europe, 171 vehicles are stolen per hour. That is over 4,100 per day, a million and a half per year, and over 500,000 are never found back. Europol describes the European industry for stolen cars as a complex network of professionals consisting of thieves, technicians, mechanics, forgers and unscrupulous dealers. They have learned to bypass anti-theft systems, detect and eliminate vehicle tracking devices and change vehicle identification numbers. Europe's open borders have made vehicle theft relatively straightforward. Thieves can steal a car in Germany and drive it to another country with no checks or delays. It only takes 14 hours to take a stolen car from central Italy to a prospective buyer in Albania. Eastern European countries, the Balkans and especially Russia are among the main markets for stolen vehicles. In addition to the extremely lucrative trade in vehicles, there is an exponential increase in the trade in expensive parts. There's only one remedy, improved Europe-wide cooperation in detecting and preventing car theft. Most electronically controlled vehicle parts are embedded with the vehicle's identification number. The VIN cube is designed to forensically image the electronically embedded VIN that was first coded to the module and parts in the vehicle. The VIN cube can be used to identify stolen vehicles, detect stolen vehicle parts and identify cloning of another vehicle. The forensic validation of the VIN cube is brought out to an independent third party. At this moment, we are working on the secure connection method with an international database. But the system works, as was proven with the VinCube test during an ANPR operation. Although no stolen vehicles or parts were found, we have experienced the test run as very successful.